So here we have my O scale main central 567 just completed. The only thing I have left to do is paint the uh, yellow handrails at the rear and front steps. But other than that, this thing is completed. The uh, Atlas O model, it has sound, it's DCC. Uh, it also has a smoke generator inside so it could shoot smoke out of exhaust, but I'm not interested in that, and so I won't activate that process of it. Uh, modifications to make this, I had to obviously make the nose bell from scratch. Uh, the horn is uh, a brass uh, horn that I bought and assembled and put on there. The uh, spark arresters are scratch built by me. The uh, renderization hatch is a uh, brass piece actually. I have a second main central Jeep here, and here's what that brass uh, winterization hatch looks like. And it actually has screening and stuff like that. It's a pretty nice little detail. Uh, but other than that, it came out of the box. It was originally a Rio Grande unit because that's what was available. I stripped it and disassembled it, and it's quite a pain to take these and disassemble them when they are already pre-painted because they take the... Uh, handrails and stuff like that and they uh on this one i decided not to take most of the handrails off because they're so hard or, or glued into the side of the frame and which is all this is all cast metal here and uh it just makes it difficult to uh disassemble them so the handrails i left on that one because the two long rails are the ones that i had on this one and i think one or two of these i broke off the little uh, nub that fits inside the frame but they're super glued on now so that should be in good shape but it's been a fun project this one here I'm waiting for some detailed parts to come in the mail but it's going to become the main central 579 and maroon scheme and for those of you wondering why you haven't seen anything on YouTube from me my computer that had all my YouTube files in it crashed it also had my uh, YouTube uh, software on it it crashed and uh, it took me a while to buy a new computer and uh, get the software back on it and then I've been having fun doing these old scale models so we'll do another quick look up here because not only have I done those I've done most of these so there's a few of these are pre-painted that uh, prime mover from main industry is pre-painted but the uh, 50 foot FMC box cars are all uh, painted by me and decaled. Uh, I got the 656 here, which was from Atlas. It came in that way. So I just uh, added additional detail and weathering to it. I worked on this uh, RS2, which was an RS3 from a company called Weaver. They're no longer a, a manufacturer, but I found it on eBay. This one has to have a DCC added and stuff, but uh, it'll also be part of it. Uh, I had an undecorated Atlas caboose, wide extended vision caboose I found, and I converted that one into the 670. I have a bunch of uh, pulp wood racks because uh, the, the switching module that I plan on building for this old scale equipment is gonna be heavily uh, Loading pulpwood racks is going to be the Dover Foxcroft ranch. There's another uh, main central 50-footer uh, I converted from a, another pre-painted kit that I stripped and then re-added. Did a couple of main central flat cars here. And we'll take one more look here. Hopefully I'm not making anybody sick from... Moving around. So the other thing is I've, I've collected some more O-scale equipment. Again, this is all based on stuff that I think I'll use in the uh, switching module I'm gonna build. Some of it isn't like these state of main box cars I've bought them because they are ubiquitous and liked it. You know. But the coal hoppers and the tank cars are all things that will get used on the uh, modular, you know, switching module I'll build. And 
the switching module will be on that section of the room over there and extend out this way with a couple of leaf extensions for the staging of it. 